the Z950 ATV box uh, door, lower door install. You gotta remove all your screws from the inner door panel. And it's got clips on it. They pop apart. Reviews the inner structure of the door. At this time, when you get the panel off, you can go ahead and cut out these little cutout squares. This is going to allow the door panel to go over the new hardware. Now the door has the bracketry for the new panels. Everything will line up. There is, you know, some improvising to do. You may need to trim this out a little bit. I didn't remove it. I just trimmed it. And below the latch, there's actually a nut welded to the bracket. And the hardware, oh, and you will have to drill through that. And the hardware uh, fits that thread. So this is where I got these doors from, the GKA Power Sports Company. You can look them up. It's a nice door. Um, now these are the outer um, reinforcements for the hardware around the door and of course they give you they supply you with all the hardware um, this one here you only need two nuts because there is a nut threaded into the existing door so I'm going to show you where these outer door reinforcements actually go um, the door has holes already pre-drilled there's one there and of course outer that's how they, they mount right in like that and that's to get the doors support with the hardware. Pull it all into shape. And the same goes for the larger bracket here. See the shapes cut out anyways. You can see how that fits underneath. Now I do recommend doing this on a hot summer day and not minus 27 out. Uh, garage is full of cars at the moment, so we're outside doing this um, The reason why I say do it on a warm day is because You know the door is not perfect. You will have to bend it in the shape um, I had to ream the holes a little bit uh, Just you, you got to expect that with with uh, whatever this is made of like a I don't know if it's like a polyester nylon or something plastic, but definitely got some strength and weight to it so they give you a little bit of a tongue at the top there that goes on the inside and like I said you will have to drill some holes out of that one plastic outer skin so you can get the bolt up through that one that's one I start with because uh, you have to bend it into shape and believe it, it uh, putting a load on this door panel when bending it in the shape actually makes it stronger and more rigid. So this is okay that it's out that far. And I believe it's out that far because these are stacked when they are shipped. But we'll go ahead and uh, we'll start getting these holes cleaned out so I can start at the back and get that one started, leaving it loose. Remember, you put all your bolts in, leave them loose, just so you can get some sort of adjustment out of it. So I'll just show you here quick that we got the holes drilled out. Very simple. Just clean them out like that with a drill. So your hardware will fit through. You know, I oval it out a little bit. It all get covered. I believe they want you to remove this whole piece, but don't really want to take apart that much of the door, so... We're gonna leave it on there. I did it to that side, so I know it does fit. So I'm not gonna lie to you, you are gonna have some trouble getting that bolt lined up and through. It's just really awkward um, if you're doing it by yourself. If you uh, have a helper around, you should. Get somebody to support the door so you can you know, get behind with a ratchet. I got an electric ratchet I use. It's a lifesaver in situations like this. Get your bolt started. Once you get that in there, you get a big relief. It's supported. Now, like I said, door's out a bit. 
perfectly normal because it don't take much. You pull it in and then it's gonna come up. So move along here to the next bolt. So my last bolt, as you can see, that holds back and I just don't have there's just no movement in it, even with a loose. Um, I had a problem the other side. I don't know if just the the products shrunk a little bit, but the bracket is good. Bracket lines up. You see the bracket holds our head, so that tells me that it's just the material is shrunk on the door. So that's why. Just take the drill, blow a new hole through it, no biggie, because you got that reinforcement plate for strength. So I just open that hole up a little bit and you just get your power ratchet on there because it's already got a nut in there and you just send her home. That's it. Finish tightening up all the hardware. I start at the back, finish at the front, tighten it and then work my way to the back again. Forgot to mention on the inner door panel when you're doing your trimming up at the front here just below where the latch is they got another cut out um, you have to cut that out you pretty much got to take it all the way to the back and see how they want you to come up with it I didn't go that far I came here and I actually did a 45 across right like that just to keep that little edge lip so that the, you know I didn't want to have it all cut out looking right keep it all sealed up this part here you gotta get it warm um, I got lucky taking it off in the cold it didn't break nothing but try and warm it up the best you can before you go to put it on unless it's summer then you're laughing so I just kind of cut it out like that for 10 snips and just finish it off that fit nice and tight okay so don't jump the gun and just go start putting this door panel back on at the front because you have to start at the back a little tongue there you got to get that panel behind it it's tricky because you have clips and stuff too that you need to acknowledge that you have to line up Like I said at the beginning, this isn't easy. These are little, you gotta have some patience with it and just pick away at it. And what I was doing, I can't see with the camera very well, but I know I'm in the right spot when I look in the hole and I can see where the, the actual threaded drilled hole is for the screw. You can see that through that hole. You know you're in the right spot. And then you can put a screw in there and don't over tighten it because you will strip it right out instantly. Just put it in so there's some tension holding the door, like at the end. And then go around and snap your clips in, like that. All the way around the whole door. Because you will have to tweak it in spots. Lining everything up. It's not just a click and go, it's I put a little bit of brain into it and you gotta put some patience into it, but let's get after it. Like I said, you'll get some of the holes where the screw holes line up. Just put your screws in, don't kill it. Just put them in just to hold that spot in place because you know that's in the right location. And then you can go around and make adjustments, get the other holes lined up. So I wanna try and show you some real action here of the difficult spots. This wants to stay up. You gotta pry it below. Get that to line up. Okay, so we got all the screws back in. And, uh, it's all, you see it's all fitted in tight. Bottom's all up. The reason why it's difficult to get these screws back in, is because when you tighten this down, because there's a nut on the back side. 
it pulls everything up and then you originally you, you cut out that spot in the inner door skin so it can kind of go around that area but at the same time you got to bend it up to sit on top of the outer door skin and it's just the only way it will fit because it's designed to go on top of it but because this is sandwiching everything to the bracket it pulls the outer door skin up higher which puts this out of alignment which puts everything else out of alignment all your holes so I start at the back obviously because of this deal here you got to get that in behind and then I do my bolts clip it in if I can bolts I mainly focus on lining up all the holes I'm not focusing on getting these clips in because you can just you could play with that all day and one would pop out there and you pop it in here and so on get them in top work my way down because I'm for as it's pulling in it's forcing the panel down because the screws are lined up so it's putting it in the location that it's supposed to be in and that starts putting a load on the lower lip bending it up for you so that you have all the support of the hardware holding the door where it's supposed to be so when you get down to the last ones it can be tricky so I start at the back tuck it in under that skin get that one started and then it kind of guides the panel in pushing down because everything got to go down because it's being forced up down line up that hole get that screw in there snug it work your way forward and then when you get to this last one you're going to notice that it's way off but if you get the screw on the perfect angle you can get the tip of the screw to contact the hole and just go lightly and it will actually guide itself straight and you'll start to feel it suck the panel in and honestly it's a good feeling because then you know it's going right to its new home where it originally was and so that everything fits but everything's on now this is snug down it's tight it's clean remember i left that little bit in here just to keep that nice and closed up i think it looks much better that way instead of cutting this out because if you cut that out you got a hole you're just looking into nothing So I just finished snugging up the last screw and let's give it a shot. There you go. I'll wipe it up. Give it some detailer on her. But they're a decent fitting door. Like they're really basic bolts. Like it's really straightforward. There's only three bolts holding this door on. But they've made them so rigid with these shapes molded into it. Like it's tough it's gotta be I guess I could be quarter inch but whatever it's made of it's strong but um, definitely nice getting doors on these things and these doors are pretty sure the price wasn't too bad I um, can't remember off by heart here but I feel like these doors were like 350 bucks plus shipping um, that's a lot better compared to those other doors. Um, these are from Russia. But the other doors, I think they were just shy of 700. Correct me if I'm wrong. But there they are. But uh, this uh, C Force 950, I think it's bad to the bone. I put the 32s on it, Intimidators, 10 by 14 wheels, use the Razor, uh, Razor Turbo, uh, the difference is the turbos have a different bracket for the lower of that bump seat, for, I put this in here for my son, you know, strap the harness around the rear bar, go down, belts bolt to the existing spots of the factory belts. I simply took the undo the uh, I undid the parking brake mechanism off the bracket below, and all I did was just move it ahead a hole, bolted it back down, and 
tighten the e-brake cable up I can still rip the e-brake on no problem take it off still works perfect brakes don't grab or drag so by moving it forward that bracket gave me an area to bolt the bracket for the bump seat to so there's no cutting at all the only thing that got cut and welded and fabricated was the base of the bracket for the seat I had to do some modifications to make it fit but the main goal was to make sure that nothing got cut up on the bike at all so we got that in there like it's strong I got the orange belts of course got to keep the orange going in there no lift all stock stock clutch in it bike rocks I got a clutch kit for it I'm going to throw it in there. The thing does 110k. Like, it's kind of, um, I got to get the wheels balanced, so I never balanced them. I did have the rock bar. I did have to cut two inches out of it. Because it was just, just touching the edge of the lug. I said, I just cut that out, so I don't have to worry about it. And these are a plastic plug to go in the end. So just cut it off, put the plug back in. You're good to go. Well, that wraps it up for the doors. I never did videos on all the other installs of it, like the windshield, rear glass. Um, it all takes time. A lot of little screws, and you got to have patience putting these accessories on. But once you get them on, it's really nice to have. I took it for a drive last night with just one door on it because I didn't get the other one done. It got too dark. Just having one door. Oh, day and night difference. Just keeping that wind off your legs. But still up in the air what we're going to do in the back. Something's going to happen back here. I don't know yet. Going to get a cooler on it. That way we got that for our storage and food and whatnot. And but. All right, guys. Good luck with your doors.